I will do things the way God has asked me to do, especially we want to change the narrative of policing uh, to ensure uh, that uh, crime is brought to its barest minimum, both to Abuja, both to uh, Niger and other areas. Uh, for the fact you commit something within my zone and run to another zone to hide, no, we will go to, we'll come to that zone where you run to and come and pick you. That's the way I operate. And that's what we are going to expand and extend it to other states. We are sat now in Abuja. Once one chance have gone so low, I can assure you that, and that's the truth. Uh, what I'm going to do because many of them, I know many of them who decide to run away, they run away into area like Madala, Suleja, which is now under my jurisdiction. I think they are going to relocate or they start running far uh, because I'm going to put my eye towards that side. I know where they run to. I know where they are running to. Uh, some of them that are living in Tafa, either Sabon or uh, towards going to Lambata area, I know where they will go. So we we'll have to look for them. I know Niger very well. So, but now my horizon has been expanded to that. So, you better they start planning how to run before I reach there because we are not going to allow them. You know, uh, I have been on the use of drones. I have drone that I'm using, I, which I've been using to monitor Abuja. I will now extend it to Niger and some area in Kaduna. And uh, I have monitor. Uh, by the grace of God, the drone, I have seven hours drone. I'm looking for nine hours and a 14 hours drone so that it can be on air for 14 hours. And that's why when the drone is on air, we are monitoring. Whatever we see that is in, in breeds insecurity, we quickly act. And that's what we are going to do. Uh, Abuja is already, grace of God, we have met things in Abuja, we have established foundation in Abuja of security. We are going to cascade it to Niger and uh, Kaduna now that I am the AIG Zone 7. So I will be my eye towards Niger and the Kaduna areas. We have formed a very formidable team that will stand by him. We are already prepared the ground. The lieutenants that are with us are solid men, officers of ground, which my classmates who stood by me throughout the period, we have already arranged structures on ground. So you will not find it difficult to step into the structure we have arranged because all of us are experienced whole hands in the police. So things are put in place. He will just walk in and continue from there. And based on his experience in community policing and intelligence based policing, and it's more into the forensic and modern policing, which is drone experience. We have already mapped out ways which is going to enter into Niger and his experience in the FCT and the environs to give him a very good success and a ground to operate. We are strongly behind him. I worked with him when he was just a young man and I was also young as a woman but I saw the bravery he had as a den 
And from what I've experienced, these few, few uh, months he has spent in FCT, the bravery did not leave him. His age did not affect him. So I know he will not do much less. He will do greater things because he's a brave fool and he's ready to walk with all his mind.